Hey guys, Joe here from Odyssey Off-Road. Thanks for tuning into the channel here for this video. So today what we're going to do is um, we're going to do a little mod to the Jeep Mojave. And that is because, as you guys know, if you follow my channel, if you don't, you should. So hit that subscribe button. Um, we tow the toys a lot. So toys by the toys, I mean, uh, we have the R-Max and then all the quads, ATVs. Sometimes I'll throw just my Raptor in the bed. And sometimes we throw all the quads on a trailer or the R-Max on the trailer and we have to tow it, you know, to riding destinations or on trips. So with the Gladiator being a smaller truck, obviously it could use a little assistance in the back for um, carrying a heavier load or, the, or, you know, tongue weight from the trailer just to get rid of some of the sag, um, and, which is common even on half ton trucks. You have these issues. Uh, my Tundra would sag a little bit in the back as well when I towed with it. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to install these. This is an airlift system, the Airlift 1000, adjustable air springs, they're called. So basically the way it works is you'll see what comes in the kit. Uh, it's everything here in that photo. And what you're going to do is you're going to jack up the back of the Jeep. Uh, this kit is specifically for the Gladiator JT and the JL platform. So... You jack up the back of the Jeep to let the axle hang. You can either support it by the frame with, with, with jack stands. So you can jack it up, you know, from the hitch just to extend the spring. Um, and then you're going to basically squeeze all the air out of these and then stick them in your springs. And then once you let them, when you let them get them in there, they'll, they'll kind of self-inflate um, with just the ambient air around it. And then uh, you run your hoses to the top of each spring, run them to the back to a fitting, and uh, when, you, when they're just that way and there's no air in them, they don't have any effect on the ride. They don't change your spring rate. You don't even know they're in there. And then when you need them you, uh, and you're carrying a load and you want to level out your truck, you add a few pounds of air, it'll bring it back up to level. And uh, from, what I'm, from what I'm told, you don't really even need much. You don't need much air pressure on these 12, 15 pounds. Um, and, and, you should, and you're good to go. So we're going to get this unboxed and then... Uh, We'll get them installed, so stay tuned. All right, so got it unboxed here. This is what this is what the kit gives you. you got your two airbags. As you can see, they, the air that's in them now is just ambient air from letting them go and whatever air they pull in themselves. The little rubber caps on top, so when you pull them off, you'll see you can deflate them pretty easy, and we'll get them squeezed, squeezed down and get them between the springs. And then once they're in there, they'll retake shape as so. So, <clears throat> and you get your uh, instructions, user guide, sticker, you get hardware. The hardware includes um, obviously some zip ties. They give you two air fittings. So we're probably gonna use one because they also give you a T. So it's optional. You can run a fitting on each side of the truck and pump these bags up individually, which uh, I'm not, I don't want to go that route. I want to run them to the back to a central location and go to a T fitting and then one air fitting and that's it. Uh, so when you put the air in, it'll inflate them both evenly. The trick to doing that is you want to make sure you use the same exact amount of footage of air line on going to each side. So that's all you got to do. You want to, you want to measure, make sure you're using the same amount of air line on each side so you get a proper uh, even inflation. Okay. And then you have these here. These, uh, I didn't even look at the instructions yet, but from what I understand, these go to on the top. So they're going to insert on the top of the spring there, and your airline is going to be able to come through that. See, there's a hole. It goes through to here. So when these inflate, they hit these. This kind of rests on top of them, and then it'll inflate and raise your truck. So that's pretty much it. That's what's in the kit. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to get the Jeep uh, prepped and ready, get it jacked up. And then I'm going to put these bags outside actually in the, in the sun so they get a little warm. So it'll be easy to compress them, squeeze them together and get them in there. Okay. So first thing we'll do is I uh, get the Jeep jacked up and then we'll get the lines run where we need. And this way, when we get the airbags to go in, the lines will be there. We'll connect them before we stick the bags in. It'll be a much easier process that way. All right, guys. So this is what we're looking at here. Uh, let me see. So I had the airbag sitting in the sun. It makes it nice and soft. The cap is still on it, obviously, so I'm not going to be able to squeeze the air out. But when you take the cap off, this will compress pretty good. I have one spring in already. I'll show you in a minute. just want to make sure you guys know. So when you put this in there, 
this is a little knob thing that faces up. So you're going to get your line in. I'll show you under the truck. Uh, get it through here and then hook it up to the bag. So it's going to sit on top of the bag like that. And this whole thing is going to go inside your spring. Instructions will tell you you need to disassemble the rear suspension, pull the coil springs out, insert the bags, reinsert the whole assembly back in. Uh, you do not need to take your whole suspension apart, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Watch. Okay, so as you can see, that one's in. Nothing's taken apart. Easy peasy. Ugh, I'm going to show you. So I got the line in the top. It's, it's gaping hole up there. It's open, wide open, uh, with a coil spring seat. You can see, you fit your whole hand in there. So drop the uh, air line in here. I'll show you on this one where I don't have a spring in yet. Once you have your suspension at full, at you know pretty much full droop, you'll see the spring on the bottom opens up quite a bit. So you got this, the air line's already in there. I'm gonna slide that black hockey puck through it. Get that up in there and out of the way. And then connect it to the airbag. Comes with a little uh, clamp. It's one of these guys right here. Little clamp, that'll go on the line. All right, and then we clamped that to the top of the bag. And then what I did was I squeezed the bag. On this side, I went from the back because you have the track bar bracket here. It's kind of in your way to get it from the front. But so I, well, well I'm saying back, but it's really the front of the truck. So from the front of the truck, uh, the front side of the axle, I went around and put the airbag in from here, from the bottom. Squeezed it kind of flat, worked it in there, bent it up, pushed it, pushed it up. Once it was past this first coil, I kind of just sort of sque kept squeezing it here and pushing, 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 and then working it from the back too. You kind of kind of need two hands, um, and then eventually it just it goes in there, and then you'll see the bag will just self-inflate again. Uh, that's just ambient air. There's no pressure in there. That's just how the bag is. Huh? All right, and then uh, you see all the space there. So that's why it doesn't affect your ride at all, um, or or your articulation because you can go full compression. There's no the air will just push out. There's no air in here, and um, and then full full droop. You still have you still have the room. It's not it's not hindering the suspension at all. So and at full droop, your your, your spring your coil springs tend to tighten up a little bit. Uh, they open this way. You know, but but the spring itself will contract a drop as the spring, you know, sags and goes out. So you'll have a little tension on the bag. When this goes down, this will probably be a little more play in the bag. Um, you can still pull this bag down and out um, to the bottom. You see, it's fairly easy and just slides right back up. And then that puck is on top. You want to leave a little slack up here. Uh, obviously, we're going to get it out of the way of the exhaust pipe. So we're going to run it on the other side of the frame and run it towards the front, okay? And then eventually we'll put the, and then we'll get the T. I may have to go to the store and get some more airline. I'm not 100% certain. Uh, this may work. I wasn't sure when I cut it, if this would be enough line, but it may. So we'll get the other airbag in there and then we'll see what, uh, we'll see what she looks like as far as if we got enough airline to put the T fitting and where we're gonna put that. All right, guys, second one is in, passenger side here. One thing I forgot to mention um, before and, uh, it was my mistake because I actually just was get so excited to get the bags in. I skipped a step. Not a big deal. You can do it after. But you see it has a rubber spring isolator on the spring there, that, that uh, gray thing. On the top, you'll have two small pieces of spring isolator on the tighter coils. You're going to have to peel that off. Okay, that's probably why they tell you in the directions <clears throat> to take the spring out altogether. But it look, they look like that. There's two of them. There's one all the way on the top, and then there's one a couple coils down. You're gonna pull those off because that kind of hinders the bag. You can see how the bag moves freely now in there because no air in it. When you have air in it, um, it, it, it expands and it, hold, goes, it presses tight against the coils. And it also uh, blows up as well. So that's, uh, we got the hose routed to the other side of the frame as you can see. You're gonna leave a little bit of slack on the top. You see I got a little loop kind of hanging out there and the suspension is at full droop now. So I'll leave a couple extra inches up there this way for articulation and all that stuff. You're never going to pull the hose off and then we'll just run it on the outside of the frame, you know, with zip ties right along the existing uh, lines. And we'll zip tie it to that, to the back, and then we'll put the T-fitting. And uh, it looks like we may have enough hose, so let's guys. All right, so got it all buttoned up. This is actually uh, the day after. So what I did was I had it all buttoned up and I wasn't 100% sure if I liked it where I had the valves and it, it was kind of bothering me. But I figured I'll just leave it. I'll drive it for a day. So I drove it around all day yesterday. I just wanted to see how it felt with the bags in it um, to make sure everything was good there. 
before I decided to relocate the valve uh, for filling up the air. So I drove it yesterday, um, drove it all over town, was out all day with it, made multiple multiple uh, stops with the truck, multiple uh, conditions, you know, bumpy roads, um, highway, all kinds of city driving. And there was no no characteristic changes in the way it drives with the airbags um, at, you know, 5 PSI, which is what they say to just keep it in there for maintenance of the bag. When you're going to tow and carry a load, then you'll inflate it to the needed air pressure up until the maximum of 35 PSI. So let me show you how I have it set up right now. I have it all, I have it propped up. And this is the way I do it. You can do it from one side at a time, but I want full droop on both sides so I can make sure I have enough line. So I just jacked it up right by the hitch. And that lifts your frame up, right? So, and I put the valve, I use the T-fitting, and I put the valve right there. So, super easy to get to that spot. Um, if you don't, if you have the outlet, obviously, you're not gonna be able to use that cover. It's a plastic cover, so I have the bed liner. It's bed lined over, so it's super rigid. Um, so I just drilled through that, stuck the valve through, and it's kind of inset too. So even if you put something tight along the wall there, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hit it. Um, should be, should work out really good. So, and it's out of the way. It's not an eyesore. I had had the two valves set up yesterday on the back of the bumper, and I, it just bothered me. So I, I, I had to, I had to relocate it here today. So, you'll see where it comes up, and it comes from back there. I got a, there's a little bit of slack I gotta still clean up, but uh, you'll see right there, and then it goes up right into the side of the bed, which is right above that gray thing there. I'm assuming that would hold the plug if you had the outlet, but I don't have the bed outlet. So then it goes back, get you under here. You can see both bags are installed now. Nice, right? There's zero air in them at the, at the moment. So hose comes back, goes here at the T-fitting, zip tied up to uh, the rear diff breather tube at the top and then i have the line coming from that to that airbag with plenty enough slack it's at full droop now and it's still about three or four inches of slack on the line so it'll be plenty and then i have the other one the line going to the other bag kind of going across i zip tied it tight there and then brought it all the way across up over it's well over the exhaust it's the camera's a little deceiving but it's got plenty of clearance and then uh i have it zip tied over there zip tied back there to a brake line that runs to the back um and then that's that's pretty much uh that's pretty much it and then there's plenty as you can see there's plenty of slack on this one it's at full droop the suspension and there's still three four inches of uh slack on that line up on top of the coil spring so once you lower it you're gonna have plenty of uh plenty of slack for articulation what have you if you do a lift obviously you probably need to modify it a little bit maybe give yourself a few more inches but um quite honestly i think even if i did a two inch lift i got enough slack in those lines right now um to compensate for that you know and, and the line is fairly inexpensive and you can get it anywhere it's just tubing so you can get this at these hardware or home depot or anywhere you sell it by the foot so that's that that's where the valve is like I said, I drove it yesterday and uh, zero, zero effect on um, zero effect on ride quality. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was helped somebody out. I really like it. And uh, smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.